Welcome everyone to this video. Let's see when have you relinquished a seat on a plane because the flight attendant made you. And I welcome you to the question answer channel. The channel where you will find the answer to everything. Thanks to Michelle Shaw, Alan Roberts, Matthew Wicks and Jeff Kurpinski for their answers to this question. We'll start with Michelle Shaw's first answer. I was traveling from Toronto to Amsterdam with a group of friends. They had made arrangements with a travel agency and had seats together farther back in the plane. I'd made my own travel arrangements and selected a bulkhead seat a few rows ahead. I came down the aisle to my delicious bulkhead window seat. Loads of legroom, conveniently located video monitor, and washroom three steps away. Once the flight was underway, my backpack became a lovely footstool and with the seat reclined I was guaranteed a good snooze on the transatlantic trip. As I came through the entrance to the cabin, I noted a very thin and drawn older woman in my seat. Beside her was a man around the same age tucking a blanket around the woman. And a worried-looking flight attendant looking at me. She explained that the woman was unwell and her husband had been seated in a different area. Would I consider changing seats with the man so he could remain close to his wife? I agreed right away but several things flashed through my mind. Where was the man's seat? Cabin configuration was 2, 5, 2. Was he the middle of five seats? Who was nearby? There were already three or four groups of fairly animated people, possibly on the way to becoming intoxicated. Who were his neighbors? Little children? I love kids but this would be a lengthy flight and I had a big day planned, I really wanted to sleep. I was led farther forward to an aisle seat mid-cabin. An older woman was in the window seat, speaking to someone on her phone in Dutch. Once the flight was underway, we began chatting. This was her first flight home in the 10 years since her husband's funeral. He'd passed away on their first trip back to his home in 25 years. There was no way I was going to sleep. This lady was amazing and our conversation carried on through the flight. Topics were very broad, ranging from family, living in Canada, living in the Netherlands, politics. During a quiet time a flight attendant approached me, asking to speak with me privately. Thanked me for changing seats so readily and handed me a cloth bag. Inside this bag was a Delft Canal house 4 inches high and a lovely selection of Dutch chocolates, two of my favorite things. She explained that this was the complimentary gift first class passengers received, and asked me to accept this gift in appreciation. Thanks KLM. We continue with Alan Roberts's answer. Yes, I was en route to Kuwait, via Dubai, from Manchester, UK. I had checked in online the day before, and selected my preferred seat, in economy. I'd selected a window seat as I hoped to be able to get some sleep, and having the benefit of the side of the aircraft to lean on would be an advantage. Anyhow, all was well until I boarded and made my way down the aisle to my appointed seat. When I arrived there was an elderly Indian lady sat in my seat, and an elderly Indian gentleman sat next to her in the middle seat, leaving only the aisle seat available in that row for me. I politely advised the lady that the seat she was occupying was booked for myself, showing her my boarding card, and requested her and her fellow passenger, who turned out to be her husband, to vacate their seats so that I was able to occupy my selected position. This was when things got interesting. The elderly gentleman refused to move, and so forced his wife to try to squeeze past him whilst he was seated. Each time she tried to do this, the gentleman started to shout loudly in his native language and obstruct her and then she would then speak to me in English saying, he says I should not move, and that you should sit in the available seat, the one in the aisle, and that, the airline crew has placed us here, so this is where we are sitting. Eventually all of this kerfuffle attracted the attention of the cabin crew. A male member of the crew came over, and tried to remonstrate with the couple, who became more and more agitated. The man stamping his feet and shouting in his native language, the woman clearly upset by this whole thing, but unable to overrule her husband. Eventually the crew member asked me to take the available seat, until all other passengers had boarded. Which I politely and quietly did. The doors were closed, a few minutes passed, and the crew member appeared next to me again, asked me to collect my things and follow him. All the way to business class, he apologized for the situation, and explained that the couple had been boarded early, due to the elderly gentleman being unable to walk without the aid of a stick, and that one of his colleagues had seated them in that row without properly checking their boarding cards for their allocated seats. As this was their error, they made up for it by allowing me to sit in business class for the flight duration. Which also means I got a better night's sleep than I was expecting. Smiley face. What do you think? We will continue with Matthew Wicks's answer. I wasn't made to move but was asked if I would be willing to move. I was flying business class on a long international flight. An older woman in coach wasn't feeling well and also wasn't very mobile. They wanted to be able to move her to business class where she could recline. I was asked if I would be willing to move from my exterior business class seat to an interior business class seat because it would be much easier for this woman to access my seat. I had no problem moving. I don't normally fly business class and the interior seat was still significantly better than what I am used to. 
plus the request was for someone not feeling well. The reason I was asked as opposed to one of the other passengers is because I wasn't sleeping. The airline was very appreciative and acted like I had made a significant sacrifice when it was really just common courtesy. What do you think? We will continue with Jeff Kurpinski's answer. I was asked to rather than made to, and what happened was a good lesson in how to handle minor inconveniences. My wife and I were headed home on a transcontinental flight. While we were in the waiting area a fairly large group of people, maybe 25 or 30, showed up all at once. The gate staff announced that our flight would be full up because they were taking on passengers who'd been rebooked due to a delay in their connecting flight. After boarding we saw one of the FAs coming down the aisle and talking to passengers in each row. When she reached ours, she explained that she was looking for people who were willing to relocate because the rebooked passengers included a couple who needed to be seated together in order to care for their young child. We said, sure, no problem, as did the third, unrelated, passenger in our row. What the FA said next was a sorry commentary on how selfish many people have become. She'd asked every row in front of us, maybe three dozen or so passengers, and not one had been willing to change their seat. Anyway, she was sufficiently impressed with our agreeability that all three of us spent the trip being plied with extra food and sodas. Not to mention more than a few of those little bottles to enhance the sodas. FWIW the airline was American. Edit 1, wow, 32k views and over 1k upvotes in two weeks. Thanks, everyone, and if you're ever in a similar situation please pay it forward. This is the end of the video. I hope you have more answers. If you found the answer you were looking for, please leave a like and subscribe. It would help us a lot. Here is the end of the video. Leave a comment to tell us if these answers are more useful to you. See you soon.